subscribe AMI and get the latest technological updates every day. Also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos. Hi guys, welcome back to AMI. So guys, in this video we are going to learn about the process which is known as full annealing. So guys, this is the process which is a type of heat treatment process and it is a type of annealing process. So guys, basically in this process, there are three stages which is shown in this uh, particular diagram which is heating, holding and the cooling. So guys, the first one is the heating process. So guys, in this particular heating process, the steels are heated up to the austenitic region which is shown over here in iron carbide equilibrium diagram over here we have gamma that is austenitic region so heating of the steels just below this region so the heating temperature will be for hypo eutectoid steels this is a3 plus 50 degrees celsius and for hyper eutectoid steels that will be a1 plus 50 degrees celsius so guys what is hypo and hyper eutectoid steels so guys this temperature i have shown over here so first of all hypo eutectoid is having percentage of carbon that is up to 0.8 percent that is hypo and from 0.8 percent up to 2 percent that is hyper eutectoid steels okay guys so that is the hypo and hyper so that heating is basically the slow heating process to avoid the cracking after heating with the holding process is carried out the steels holds at the particular constant temperature okay for a specific period of time so guys this is for a minimum period of that is of one hour for each 25 mm of diameter for rod or thickness 25 mm thickness so guys, this is the holding process in this holding process we getting the uniform size grains in a particular steel then the last one is the cooling process so cooling which is done in the furnace itself so guys sometimes a material requires a different uh, degree of softening so guys which might be depend upon the application which is as per the application okay so guys uh, to achieve that different degree of softening there will be a different degree of cooling rate required okay so guys the cooling in this particular process the slow cooling is carried out uh, is generally achieved in it is generally achieved in a closed furnace okay by switching off the electric supply of the furnace into which we have started heating so guys this whole process is nothing but the full annealing process so guys let us check why what is the purpose of full annealing process so guys uh, let's check it out all those points for the purpose of full annealing process to relieve the internal stresses which are generated uh, while machining and while doing the heat treatment to increase the ductility and the percentage elongation so guys this point is very important why the full annealing is carried out to achieve the increase the ductility and percentage elongation the last one is to refine the grain size okay we are getting uniform grains to make the material homogeneous okay material gets homogeneous in terms of the chemical composition okay and the last one the fifth one is the to increase the machinability okay there is also sixth one that is to make the steels suitable for the subsequent heat treatment like hardening which is generally carried out by annealing process full annealing process so guys in this process the austenite is gets converted into the coarse perlite which is nothing but the soft steel so steel becomes soft which is also known as the coarse perlite okay so guys after the advantages there are some disadvantages of this particular process the first one is as the cooling process is carried out in the furnace okay so it takes a very long time and the process becomes batch type okay so the batch will be there batches will be there in the furnace itself so the second one in this in that particular cooling process the same furnace which is used okay so the furnace cannot be used for the next batch okay and hence there is a cost addition into the product due to the ideal furnace and the last one it is not a quick process it consumes more time so that was the disadvantages guys next one is the application of full annealing process 
so guys uh, the application is like uh, to modify the properties of steels steel castings basically to relieve the internal stresses so this is one of the objectives to relieve the internal stresses in steel sheets and steel strips to increase the machinability okay to increase the machinability of the steel for forging also and to make the uniform structure so that is the uh, one of the application in casting or also in the forge material okay guys so guys uh, in this particular video we have seen the process of full annealing i hope you understand the this particular process of full annealing guys so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my channel aim aim i thank you guys